Can you say Ken Brews, Booze and Bravos? I don't think I can say it. I know I can. Well, we'll, we'll try to say it. Say it fast. We're just, just trying to get it. Ready? Booze, and booze, blues, and booze, 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 bravo. Booze, no, booze, booze, and booze, booze, and shoes. Every Monday night, Ken Brew brings you the great and not so great moments in sports. All right, why don't we split it up? One word at a time? Yeah. All right, go. Brews and bravos. Okay. Not bad. So even if you can't say it, catch it on News 5 Sports. Join us for all the scores and more tonight at 6 o'clock. Well, good afternoon, everybody, from Durban Bowl in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Welcome to the Utah Pole King of TV Bowling. I'm Tom Brenneman, along with Jennifer Kleekamp and David Newrath. Jen, we don't make it to the Hoosier State very often, but well worth the trip today. Oh, absolutely. Walt Tarpley's done a fabulous job with this center, upgraded it, another one of our image-making centers. I really believe bowling's going to make a turn for the better with places exactly just like this. I agree with you 100%. Now, David, our first match today, a real good one. Well, we're going to see a familiar face, and that's for sure. Our king, Riga Kalfas, makes a return visit to uh, the stage here for the last two weeks of the telecast. And he's going to be going up uh, against the counterpart, you might as well say, Lenny Ramsey, Big Bender. Both fellas from the left side. Both fellas extremely well-schooled, well-liked. We're going to see a good match, no doubt. Now, I, I know both these guys, as you said, we've had them before and seen a lot of big numbers. I'm putting you on the spot again, New Wrath. Who's going to do it? Come on. Brilliant. <laughs> Fair enough. You heard it from New Rat. We've got that and much, much more next on the beautiful King of TV Bowling from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Greater Cincinnati, BPA's Hudipol King of Bowling. Brought to you by Hudipol 14K, the Cincinnati legend. Remember the name, you'll never forget the taste. Then is now again, Cincinnati, and the flavor's pure 14K. Time to enjoy the crisp, refreshing taste of a Cincinnati legend. Remember then, 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 then. Beautiful 14K. Remember the name. You'll never forget the taste. Lee's famous recipe makes the best tasting chicken in town. We bake fluffy, scratch buttermilk biscuits glazed with melted butter. Taste our country fresh salads and hot vegetables. Now you can get famous with Famous Recipes Catering Hotline. Dial chicken. That's 244-2536 for great chicken and side dishes for your next party. Famous Recipes Catering Hotline. The great taste keeps you coming back. Spring comes early at America's Choice. America's Choice is eager to announce our spring cleaning sale. Reduced prices on all 1987 homes and specials on all 88 models. It's your choice at America's Choice. Free microwave, free washer and dryer, or free park rent. Come on by this weekend for all the exciting details. See why Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky are making America's Choice their choice in mobile homes in Milford and Walton, Kentucky. Welcome back to Durban Bowl in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. And boy, what a pleasure it is to get over here to the Hoosier State. Walt Tarpley, our gracious host this morning, doing a fabulous job with his center. And here is a guy that has been nothing shy of fabulous on our show throughout the year. Riga Kalfas, as David talked about at the top of the show, he was our king for six consecutive weeks, you may remember. If you remember, he started the show out one of two ways, either with a strike or leaving a six pin. <laughs> That's exactly right. And we saw the latter today, but that uh, doesn't mean that we won't see any big games, ladies and gentlemen. I can guarantee, as the Cajun chef says, I guarantee big scores today. Boy, Dave is ready to go today, folks. Yes. And Riga Campus easily 
mows down that six pin and starts frame number one with a spare. You know, in contrast to the last time we watched Riga, too, it was a, a highly emotional match and uh, obviously no love loss but in that particular match. This, on the other hand, uh, he and Lenny Ramsey are, are, I don't know how tight they are, but they uh, they get it, get along well. You see a little hand slap and congratulating on a, on a nice shot. But Lenny is emotional. He'll move around on the lane, and he makes the ball move around in the pins. Well, that's certainly true right there. Boy, Lenny Ramsey, we've seen a lot of guys this year who uh, really let that ball go and get a lot of pin action due to those revolutions on the ball he's certainly right in that category exactly right and, and should he win should he win today and he's got to go through some some tough competition he would appear next week in the house that he totally dominated last year tommy annihilating glenmore ball averaging about 260 i think for the show Going like, high on, yeah. the, on the left lane. The, the same lane Riga went a little high on. Lane seven, he cuts through, leaves the two, four, seven. Now, this is choppable, but Lenny's been working on his spare game quite a bit, and he's pretty sharp. Lenny's 29 years old. Uh, I can certainly attest to Lenny is a fine, fine gentleman. You will not meet a nicer guy. And he is the Hoinky Super Classic 87 champ, and he won $80,000. So he's not only nice, Look he's rich him. too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the guy you look for, isn't it, right? Yeah, 80000 bucks. That Hoinky Classic is something else. And speaking of that, in his 11 games in that tournament last year, an average of 233. Ah, he was just lucky. <laughs> you going to tell him that? No way. He bowled incredibly well. I was there for the entire tournament, Tommy, and, and uh, the man could not have made more perfect shots for an entire day. It was fantastic. Riga looking for 10, and there it is. Bingo. That was excellent, of course, and uh, our two players are going to be going hammer and tong at it. Riga takes the advantage with the strike working in the second. Uh, in the roll-off this morning, Lenny Ramsey defeated Bill Heflin with a score of 259 to 191. Bill is here keeping score this morning. But yesterday, what did he do yesterday? Jan. Well, he was the high qualifier over at Glenmore, Ooh. and he shot a 7.73. And Alan Runkle was second. He will roll off next week, and he had a 7.28. Mm. There you go. Riga finds the left lane early, as we've seen so often. Boy, Riga Kalfas. A reminder, now I know a lot of you saw the particular telecast, but he, Riga gave us probably the most exciting moment in a long, long time, which we can remember, when he went to the final ball in a bid for a 300 game. Incidentally, he did have a 300 on this pair last weekend he in qualifying. Right. Yes, he did. Uh, he won't get it today, or at least in this game, but if he should win, look out. Lenny Ramsey also had a 278 on this pair. And Ron Bonnard, who we will also see, had a 266. So we had a high-scoring pair here on lane 7 and 8. Lenny Ramsey looking for that six pin to pick up the spare. And he does so with relative ease. Tight match so far, David. Extremely tight. You awake? Rick? <laughs> Doing some calculations okay. here. You know, I'm still working on my math. Uh, <laughs> both players are... Uh, are executing well, but uh, right now the advantage does appear to go to Riga Kalfas. His concentration is superb, as we've seen in past shows, and he's lined up very well on both lanes, Tommy. If, if you got to pick anybody with an advantage early, Riga Kalfas has it. You don't count a ball like this out. No way. Oh. Absolutely not. Lenny Ramsey stepped right up there on lane number seven and knocked him down in a hurry. See him shaking that head a little bit. He's saying, man, i got to find that lane, that line on lane number eight, saying, help me. And he's talking to Alan Runkle, who certainly can give him some help. I'm not, I think he may be on help, though, Jen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Boy, he said taking some shots early oh, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel good today. Feel good. <laughs> so. The right-handers, 4-7. The left-handers, 6-10. Let's hear another rendition of that. Very little quickly. Little James? Yeah, little James. Wow! That's it. That's all Feels I know. Good. Anyway, the, 
The right lane, he goes a little high. There you see it, the 6'10". Not a very difficult spare. He's going to shoot cross lane at it. He's going to have the momentum of the ball going from left to right. And uh, he's also got some area there. Should be no problem. While we're in Indiana, I would like to uh, give a get well wish to my uncle, Jack Link, who lives down here in, Cincinnati, or in Indiana. And he's been ill lately. And you talk about a hootie drinker. This guy can drink some hooties. Stack, get well, Uncle Jack. Stack them up. You can see at the score, we've got 11 pins. Now make it nine pins. There we go again. Nine pins, advantage, Riga Kaufas. But Lenny Ramsey has the strike working in the fourth frame. Riga Kalfas, 21-year-old Newport, Kentucky native, and giving us some great moments this year. He would certainly like to add a few of those and add a few dollars to his bank account. He walked out of here with better than 3,000 bills. Ouch. That looked good. Absolutely stone, perfect, solid seven. Let's take a look at it here on the replay. Absolutely fantastic. Watch his reaction. Does he like the shot? You bet. He's going to show you what he thinks of it. Now, this, this uh, four pin, second one from the left-hand side of your screen, right there is going up and around the neck. He expected a strike, and he's disappointed. Well, Riga looking to make it back-to-back -back spares in the fourth and fifth. He does. Lenny Ramsey. And Jen, I don't have to tell you this because you were there, but again, for the uh, Hoinky Super Classic, to watch Lenny Ramsey and watch his eyes in the final three games, it was like a shark ready to bite Tommy. He was so intense, and I'm not seeing that yet. I'm not seeing that yet, but it's getting close. <laughs> Boy, a strike here would certainly not you that level up. Bam! Not going to happen. A solid six again. Uh, both players being a little tentative, not not really going after it. We've talked about the powerful release of Lenny Ramsey. This is it. Take a look at it. Look at the cupped wrist underneath, and then watch this come up through the bottom of the ball and just generates so many revolutions that a normal person might not be able to control it. There you go. So a game thus far of spare shooting. Riga Kalpas had strikes in frame numbers two and three. Ramsey in the first and in the fourth. Aside from that, we've seen nothing but spares. Well, and we teach that when we teach the game. You have to cover your spares in order to accumulate the totals. And we're seeing it here, both these players covering it up well. And then wait for this. Yes, sir. The pop powerful striking ball of Lenny Ramsey was evident on that particular shot and now we get to look at Riga Kaufas. Our Hudipole distributor here in Indiana is the Goldheart distributors and we have with us Robert Mulan today along with Tony Plank of course and Connie Wagner from the Hudipole Brewery. Boy, Bob, Tony and Connie have been out all year long each yes, and every week. Have. That's what their wives was telling me the other day. <laughs> is that right? I've <laughs> seen them for 16 weeks. <laughs> Mulan, I like that name. Yeah. French, huh? Better known as Cooch, I understand. Good, well, I can okay. understand that. <laughs> there you go. The Riga Kalfas that we've seen in the past strikes and puts the pressure back on Lenny Ramsey with that strike in the sixth frame. Boy, we've talked about time and time again each and every week the mark of good players after a couple of shots they thought were pretty good, but nevertheless had to pick up the spare. They come right back when they need to with 10 in the pit. Has he... Uh, did he accumulate some more jewelry around his neck, Tommy, or was that there last time? Well, see, you know, Jen was on him so bad about buying his fiancée, Shelly Moyer, you know, little little gifts here yeah. and there. and Treated Riga himself said, well, right. Hey, yeah, that's exactly right. I'm going out and buy myself a few items. I do understand that uh, he bought Shelly a hammer bowling ball, which runs about $100, so All good for right. him. Other than that, they're out of saving their money, I understand. Good. Uh oh. oh. Devastating out. mistake for Riga Kalfas on that particular shot. Let's watch it, see if we can see the concentration on his face as we've seen it so often. There it is, the eyes. Look, ah, he looked up. I'm surprised. I haven't noticed that before, and maybe that's why it was an errant shot. The elbow did break. He pulled up. We'll see if we can pick it up on the next 
couple of shots and see if he raises his eyes like that every time. I have Tom. noticed that. Have you? Okay. Just well, a little bit of a break. With there. the experience that Lenny Ramsey has in match play, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him jump right on that Aaron shot. Oh, and frames really going out on a limb, is it? Jim? Yeah. Yeah, jeez. Well, about as about as much on a limb as you did at the beginning of our show. <laughs> oh, when that shot bites with a round of Oh, it's my. There it was. We saw the right here, and let's take a look at it. The shark bites on this one. Lenny Ramsey is going to throw an absolute rope. This shot, excellent release. Look at him. There are the eyes I was telling you about. The projection down the lane, the lay of the roll. Watch the head pin to the wall, comes off the wall, just absolutely hacksaws the 10 pin out of here. And as you can see it, strikes in the sixth and seventh frame. That gives him the lead big time, about 18 pins. Boy, how this match has changed. Ramsey trying to increase the lead. You know, it's almost amazing, Dave, that the, the guy who throws the ball as hard as Lenny does is not going to get that 7 up ball for him. Well, it, you know, we've, we've seen it in past years with uh, our local left-hander that throws the incredibly hard revolution-type ball, and that's John Gant. Both of these players throw the ball harder than what anybody would ever recommend, but they get the job done. Well, school player, he goes to a different ball to shoot a spare. Spare shooting, of course, Dave said earlier, absolutely oh, critical. Lenny does enjoy golf, as many bowlers do. Uh, it seems that those two go hand in hand. What do you think, Dave? Well, it, it's that's right, Jen. They're two. They're two of the sports that you have no competition other than yourself. It's a mental mind game. You make. The same shot, the same stroke. Tempo is what it's all about. And on this ball, we're going to see some. We're going to see some tempo on here and the concentration on Riga Call. This is we see. Okay, now he, he's looking out in the lane, talking to himself. He's going to look down here. He should, or at least he did last frame. And not quite as much eye movement as the frame before, but I see what you mean, Jen. He rears up on this ball, just straps it for all it's worth. Now head pin's going to go to the right wall, right there. Come off wedges itself in between. That is the six pin going from right to left. Good action on that shot. I think he's so slow and deliberate that a little bit of eye movement really doesn't make a whole lot of difference in him, although I don't recommend it. Yeah, he, uh, the one shot was different. No, it was different. Oh, no. Stone eight pin on an absolutely fantastic shot, Tommy. Critical frame. We've talked about it a hundred times. Ninth frame. Look at it right here let's take a look at this ball no deflection no deflection on the ball at all it's going to drive right through now the ball should be taking that pin out that it just missed the eight pin mercy tough tough spot to get that bad of a break no kidding Riga Calfas he's down not quite mathematically out but boy he really needed that strike in the ninth you know, winning winning is important to the bank account and also your prestige, but when you make a shot, that perfect, when you have to make a shot, that in itself sometimes, Tommy and, and Jen, you know this, is almost rewarding enough, especially since he's in the finals already and he's made a lot of money, so it just feels good to make a good shot when you need it. Oh, uh oh. Now. How much does this change the complex of the match? <laughs> so much, you wouldn't believe it, Tommy. Watch this shot. He's going to just strap it for all it's worth. Watch on the replay. He hits the ball a little hard. He's a little more erect than he normally is. Now, the projection that we had the frame before, not here. Going to drive straight back. That is the three pin going to the right hand channel and laying down. He leaves the six, ten, seven. Impossible. Mm -mm. No, it's not impossible, but match play right now. He kind of halfway went for it, Tommy. I mean, what I mean by that is if he would have made a mistake and made it, uh, that would have been fine. But you need the two pins when we've got a critical match like this. Now let's project a strike for Regan in the 10th frame. 175. It's a one-pin match. So don't you dare get out of that seat. Uh-uh. Now if Lenny Ramsey strikes in the, in the 10th, 11th, and 12th frames, it will force Riga to throw three in the tenth to win by one stick. Now this is the first 
match of this caliber in terms of closeness we've had in a long time. Ramsey's first ball. Oh, it does sit. And boy, he is lucky it did. I am telling you, that would have been the uh, piece de resistance for Riga Confus if that would have stood up to 7-9, but it falls out. Now, the situation is this. No mark for Lenny in the ninth to worry about count. So it's still technically a one-pin match. Lenny Ramsey must make this spare if he has any idea going on to game number two. Looks on target. And he has it. See him look over and smile a little bit. I think he was, uh, Jenny, I heard you kind of take a deep breath. You thought he had missed it. From this angle, I can't really tell, but it did look like it was pretty near the ditch. Well, Lenny right Ramsey. there, you're looking at Walt Tarpley uh, to the lower left there. The red-headed, curly-headed Red fellow. Red-headed, curly there. Yeah. There's Mr. Schiller. Brought a Mr. Tempo, Schiller. tempo for us today, but the focus is on Lenny Ramsey. He's got to have 10 pins to have a shot. He was dead on the ringer right there. So now what is the situation? Well, the situation for Regal Kaufus is that he knows that the one thing that can dethrone, well, not dethrone him, but keep him from going on to game number two is a bad count or an open frame. Obviously throws him out, but let's look at it this way. If he gets an eight or less on this ball, could be history. He needs a big count. Nine or better. Riga Kalfas. A bid to move on. He's looking good. Nine or better. There's nine. Hold on a second. Oh, misses it by inches, Tommy. Okay. Nothing's really changed here. It's still a one-pin match. If Riga Kalfas, touche, huh? Touche. Touche. You make a seven-pin and you strike. You win by a Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Whoops. I'm sorry. Possibility I'm sorry. There of a tie. There goes my math again. Possibility. He's got to make this and strike. Got to make this and strike the tie. Okay, now that's taken care of. There we go. <laughs> We've just got a recommendation from our director, Roy Alfers, that Mr. Newrath take off his off shoes now. and count. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Got to have 10 on this ball for a tie game. And then we go into sudden death roll off ninth and 10th frame. The pressure on Riga Calvis, but he has answered that call many times before. Amen to that. 10 to tie, nine is a loser. Looking for 10 in the pit. Not gonna happen. Comes away with an eight, went high with it. Good match. Excellent. Match. And Lenny Ramsey is the winner. He will move on. Stay with us on the Utah Pole King of TV Bowling.